Yeah. She work a job, but she hustle inside. Yeah. And if they ain't trying to kill her, she can buy. Yeah. I, I wanna own my team, she my point guard. I love her cause she's uh-huh. soft and hard. Poetry. 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 Sometimes she raise hell. Yeah. I bet I like it though. She's so ghetto. I bet it's too busy for your cats in the city. She already done met all your people or not. I haven't even said hello. She's got to be the most beautiful sex. And she's hot. Her poetry got to be it. She just got. I love the way she words her phrases. She amazed. In grace, I just want to know her real side. I ain't kicking. I'm just keeping it real. I'm picking. I'm maybe I'm just using my head. She's poetry. She's poetry. She's poetry. She poetry. Show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. It's a fantastic freaky funny football Friday. Make sure you go to the Doug Stewart Show Facebook chat group and cast your vote for this week's Buster of the Week in sports entertainment and beyond. Uh your nominee is the Orange Dude, LeVar Ball, Florida Judge, uh calling out Charlie Strong, Boston sports fans, Boston in general, Golden State Warriors, Angry Black Man, the Stewie. T Dub the Stewie and that ninja the Stewie. <laughs> Go cash your votes. We'll give out some ball penis a little bit later on today in the show. Um, but a lot of NBA from last night, obviously, as we are in the thick of the playoffs, uh, uh, playoff action right now. A lot of tensions last night boiled over, man. Technical foul field game uh, three Thursday night as the Wizards rolled another hot start. And ultimately won this time, 116-89, to cut their series deficit to 2-1. to one. Washington built a big lead for the third consecutive game, holding and extending it this time to score uh, and get it done, man. And a lot of physical play last night, which I actually welcome the physical play, man. It kind of reminded me back in the day when they used to play hard basketball and not this soft little sissy basketball. I like it. Eight technical fouls. You had a couple of little skirmishes, uh, eight technical fouls, three ejections, and a whole lot of bad blood, man, uh, in the game last night. Everybody talking about Kelly Olenek and Kelly Oubre and what happened with them. They had a little skirmish. Washington built a big lead for the third consecutive game, holding and extending it this time. Uh, a lot of physical play. Olenek and, uh, and Oubre once again went at it. Which, I, which I'm on the, on the Ubre kid side for the Wizards because the pick that Kelly Olenek set, it was a pick, but he had his hands up. And if you watch the play in reverse, he extended his hands and pushed the guy back. And the guy went straight back with his damn head on the ground. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm all good with Kelly uh, Ubre going in, man, and, and making sure a dude understands that you can't just do that shit. I'm, I'm fine with that. What, if he would have let that go and, and, and Kelly Olenek would have been doing the same damn thing every time they came down the court. So uh, chances are that won't happen again because he let them know, look, I'm just not going to accept you just knocking me on my ass and me bumping my damn head on the floor. Uh, here's a quote. I guess that's playoff basketball, said Isaiah Thomas, who 
was held to just 13 points after scoring 53 in game two. Played great defense on his ass last night, really minimized him. Uh, John Wall led the Wizards with 24 points as he, Otto Porter, and Bojan uh, Bogdanovic keyed a 22 to nothing first quarter run that made it 34 to 12. Unlike in game one and game two, Washington led 16 to nothing and 16 to eight. Uh, they just let those leads just slip away. So good game for the Wizards last night. Series now two games to one. I'm hoping for the Wizards to win. I, I I've said it many times, man. I'm hoping the Wizards can get it done. Uh, I just I just think that they're a more fun team to watch at this point. My team's not in it. My second team's not in it, the team that I root for. And the Atlanta Hawks, first team being the Los Angeles Lakers. I want to see the Wizards advance, man. And also it's kinda I kinda I kind of um you know, got a little sore spot um for the fact that the Boston Celtics won their last series against Chicago when everybody knows they shouldn't have won that damn series. Uh, if Rondo didn't get hurt, there was no way they were going to win. There was no way they were going to come back from two games down. So it's almost like they 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 got by uh, Chicago in the last series by a bunch of fortunate things happening for them. So I don't even really think they deserve to even be in this playoff series right now. So I'm rooting for the Wizards. Uh, the Wizards were the far better team on Thursday night, scoring or shooting 46.7% thanks to 19 points each from Porter and Bogdanovic once again. They locked down defensively on Isaiah Thomas, who never got into a rhythm and was on the wrong end of, the, of some uh, post-ups against bigger opponents. So big win once again for the Washington Wizards last night as the series is now two games to one, still in favor of Boston, but the, but the Wizards get back into this thing. Oh, boy. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Now, the other game from last night, Golden State Warriors just destroying the Utah Jazz once again. Utah actually played pretty good, but once again, Golden State wins 115-104. to 104. <laughs> These Jokers had lost a game in the playoffs this year. Draymond Green, man, had a big night, knocking down five three-pointers and scoring 21 points before he had a little knee scare late in the Golden State Warriors, 115-104 to 104 victory over Utah once again on Thursday night. Series now, uh, Warriors now ahead in the series two games to none. Kevin Durant added 25 points with 13 free throws and 11 rebounds and seven assists, while Steph Curry had 23 points, seven assists, and played smothering deep. Man, shut up! Uh, my man St. Louis Ron, and you're listening to the Ducks to a show. My man St. Louis Ron, uh, good friend of the show, good friend of the stews, man, for a long, long time. He posted something on social media that I saw this morning, and I responded to it. And his question was, you know, why are, are these playoffs so boring, and why are these teams dominating? Uh, I guess he was talking about Cleveland and uh, what Golden State are doing, which either team has lost. Neither team has lost. In the playoffs, and everybody knows who's going to make it to the finals. I mean, this is all just window dressing right here. It's going to be Cleveland, and it's going to be Golden State. And he asked, you know, why are these playoffs so bad? And I says, because the chickens coming home to roost. You know, with these teams stacking, you know, their their rosters. You know, it's not it's not a coincidence that that Cleveland and and uh, and Golden State right now are on a crash course for the for the finals. Because they got the better players. And they, 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 they all came together. And Kevin Durant went to Golden State. And Kyrie Irving and, and, and LeBron back together. and Or together for the first time. And they bring in all of these great free agents. And they got these good players, man. Because these teams are stacking themselves. Okay? And a lot of y'all okay with it. So this is the chickens coming home to roost. <laughs> Right, it doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon. So, so expect, expect what you're seeing right now, dominating performances in the playoffs by, you know, one team dominating another one like what we're seeing right now in Golden State in the playoffs. Not just a team. The entire playoffs, they're just dominating. And I know there are a couple of competitive series um, in other places, you know, with this, with this Celtics and Wizards series. That's kind of competitive. I get that. The Houston and... 
Uh, San Antonio Spurs series is going to be kind of competitive. But the two teams that have had all of this press for stacking their squads, you know, in relative terms, and you're talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers and the pieces that they've added around LeBron James and the free agents that have come to play with them, Darren Williams and those cats like that. Like, it's the destination. They want to come and play with the best players, and they, you know, don't have a problem with it, and they stacking teams. And you know about Kevin Durant and Golden State. This is the chickens coming home to roost. If you want to see competitive basketball, you should be angry the fact that these free agent players are going to play with other superstar players. <laughs> So get used to it. Get used to it. And they're going to they're, they're gonna scroll right through the playoffs. They're going to get to the finals. Cavs and Warriors. And if anything happens outside of that, you, just like me, would be very, very shocked. All right? So that's probably going to happen. Get used to it. Y'all okay with it? A lot of y'all okay with it. A lot of y'all are fine with it. So there it is. Don't get mad. Uh, Gordon Hayward uh, overcame a poor game one and a slow start. And uh, in the game last night, to score 33 points. And Rudy Gobert had 16 points and 16 boards before fouling out. Mm, and George Hill didn't actually play last night. They had the Mac kid that started and played uh, pretty decent last night as well. They only lost by, what was what it, 16 or 11 points. Uh, I like this Utah Jazz team, man. I, once again, I said it a couple days ago. Uh, I hadn't watched a lot of Utah Jazz basketball, man. But I watched, like, up until, like, 10 minutes left in this game last night. Very, very late. This game is this team is solid, man. But they just when you going up against a team like Golden State with what four of the top I don't know twenty players in the game, four of the top fifteen players in the game. You talk about Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, and you add Kevin Durant to it. It's just hard. It's as simple as that. They just got too much. Uh, the Jazz manage only fifteen first quarter points on five for eighteen shooting. And missed seven of ten three-point attempts. Remember now, Steve Kerr is not even on the bench for these cats anymore. Or or at least right now. Uh, After a 44-37 rebounding advantage in game one, the Warriors led the way on the boards, 47-39. Green, Draymond Green, notches his 11th career 20-point game in the postseason. Uh, Wow. (laughs) Wow. I love that Draymond Green kid's game, man. I mean, outside of the fact that he always be trying to kick people in the ding-ding. I love his game. And there's always these comparisons seemingly over the last couple of years to him and Dennis Rodman being that type of glue guy, uh, your tough man down in the post, do all of the dirty work of the team. He's so much better than Dennis Rodman. Now, Dennis Rodman was a better defender. Uh, Draymond Green is, is no slouch. He's a very good defender, obviously. One of the better defenders in the game. But Dennis Rodman was a much better defender. But offensively, offensively, what this guy Draymond Green does, man, he's eons better than Dennis Rodman was in his career on the offensive end of the court, man. Damn, I love his game. And I hate that he played with these cats at Golden State. (laughs) But, man, I love his game, man. He's just so fundamentally just... Perfect. He does everything right. Everything. This cat hit five three-pointers last night. This is your garbage man. This is your 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 tough guy down in the paint hitting three-pointers like, like he's Steph Curry or something like that. Oh man. It's just it's just too much, man. I, I hate even watching this crap, man. But uh the Golden State Warriors now go up in the series two games to none for you Warriors fans. Damn right, I'm a hater. You get used to it, man. Let me read some messages in the chat room on Spreaker.com. If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, once again, go to Spreaker.com as of now. uh, Speaker with an aura. Search upon the Doug Stewart Show. Once you find it, there's a little chat bubble icon, kind of like they have in the comic books back in the day, and I think they still do it now. I haven't read a comic book in a long time. So click on that, man, and create a little account. and take you 30 seconds to jump into our chat room, man, and join the fun. From Montana Jones in the chat room, he says, Shoe industry working against this man. Couldn't get retail stores to sell the shoe, so he did it himself. 
Exactly. He did it himself.